Welcome to the video of Elevation. Today we're going to look at this wonderful tea and I hope you can immediately see that these leaves are quite big and stripy and long which makes them really great for bowl tea. Because of the large leaves the tea will sink to the bottom quite quickly and therefore we can drink our tea without getting it stuck in our mouth or in our teeth or anything which is always nice. So uh, my kettle is ready. So let's uh, brew some tea. I always get these questions about how many leaves to use. Just grab a pinch like this. Oh, maybe a bit more. Something like this. I tried to uh, weigh it, but my scale didn't register it. I'll grab a bit more. Yeah, so something like this is pretty normal for a couple of bowls. Let's leave it on the side and you can you can add more. This is like my I don't know fourth bowl of elevation. It takes quite a little bit of time to make these videos and I messed up a lot of times. So just make sure that it's swirling. You can angle the kettle in a way that the tea is swirling. Yeah, it's probably hard to see. I don't know if you can. So now my tea is brewing. And I can drink it immediately. Mm. So for me, this has a very particular Taiwanese flavor because it is a red tea from Taiwan. It almost always tastes a little bit like cinnamon and um, yeah, when I drink it, I'm immediately back in Taiwan uh, in the sun. Uh, right now it's winter in the Netherlands, so it's uh, good to drink this tea. Uh, it brings a little bit of warmth and uh, a lot of grounding, which I really need because yeah, I'm an ungrounded person and terribly bad. So let's talk about the story behind this tea. It is a Taiwanese red tea. And the story behind it is that the Japanese invaded Taiwan in the Second World War. And they wanted to be a superpower. And to be a superpower, you have to have a lot of products and a lot of goods to sell and trade and yada yada. And they thought that Taiwan would be a great country for tea. And they were right. So they planted a lot of tea trees and then the war, the war ended and they left Taiwan. Now these trees were not maintained for a long time and a farmer after a couple of dozens of years actually bought this land where these tea, tea trees were on and he just let them grow wild. So this is a completely wild tree. The farmer actually loves this, uh, his plants uh, a lot because he bought the surrounding lands as well so farmers were using pesticides near him and he didn't want his trees to be affected so this is a very clean tea the person who made this loves his tea trees and yeah you can really sort of feel the soil and feel the ground when you drink this tea and and that's something not apparent in most teas because most cheap teas are like watered and you have fertilizer and you know they're sort of in a comatose environment there there's not a lot of energy there's not a lot of you know oomph in them and this this has this so it's a bit more pricey than my other teas but it is well worth it to have a tea that is not only good for you but also good for the environment and made by a farmer who loves what he does and uh, yeah it's just an all-around great tea it is good for the morning um, and maybe afternoon uh, right now it is sadly a bit in the evening but uh, I can sort of handle my caffeine if you don't uh, handle your caffeine really well uh, please don't drink it in the evening you'll be awake so yes morning is very good morning with elevation is good morning And I'll leave you with a hug. Oh, that's so bad.
Ja, dann fängt dann gerne mit dir an.